Awesome, man. And, and your last question, this is on PC related uh, in a way. You know, you, like I said, transferring has become such a big part, obviously, of college basketball. I was just wondering for you, like, when you, you know, when you thinking back when you went to LaSalle to Providence, how much is that as a player, right? How much is that similar to being recruited in high school or what, what kind of being in the portal? What is that like just for, you know, cause I have people asking all the time and guys I talk to, I'm always interested. Like what is your experience? What is that kind of month like in the portal? You know, you know, when you put your name in the portal, it's kind of like a big uncertainty factor. Cause like you have self doubt, you don't know what's going to happen. So for me, what happened was I got calls from everybody in the country. Because I, I rebounded at a high level. And I could finish, finish around the basket. Um, but for some people, it could go either way. You could get recruited a lot or you could get recruited a little bit. But now since COVID came around and all the guys coming in, you got JUCOs, you have high major players transferring, you have low major players transferring. Then you also got the college and prep, prep school kids. So it's all these players trying to get on a roster at a school, and it's just so difficult to weed out the good players. Yeah. It's so difficult to get a spot on a on a good team that you want to. So some people have to take less and go somewhere. Some people don't get in school at all and have to go back to JUCO that are already in college. You know, so it's just it's an interesting process. It's almost like basketball free agency, and that's what it's becoming like, especially with NIO and and the money side of basketball that's becoming a part of college basketball now. So it, it's an interesting situation. My, from my experience, it was kind of like getting recruited all over again. You know, like coming out of college, I coming into college, I had two offers, yeah. Ryder and LaSalle. Going from LaSalle to Providence, I, I had about 17 different schools. And it was just from, from high level OE to high mid-major. So it was just – it was a it was a cool experience, but no, at the end of the day, you can only go to one school, and you better pick the right one. Yeah, no, definitely. definitely. Yeah, you know, well, listen that. for you know for you, uh, you know, I like to ask this question because obviously, as you know, there's fans who, you know, don't understand. I feel like the portal always, and you know what that means. Yeah, yeah. What is, you know, what is that experience, you know, for you? What what were you looking for? Not specifically, you've obviously already explained, you know, why you picked Fordham. Uh, but just kind of that process, what was that process like for you uh, in terms of just kind of getting all these calls and how you, you know, trim that list down? So it, for me, like it kind of, I kind of say I took the pretty much, I, I came from JUCO and um, from there I was getting offers and phone calls and stuff like that. But going into the transfer portal is a whole nother situation. You're just somewhere. And now that you enter the transfer portal, that's not, nothing's guaranteed after that. Once you're in the and once you're in your transfer portal, you're pretty much just gambling on yourself, saying I got I'm a bet on myself here, and um I feel like I could go play here, I could go play there. But it's not about what you think or what you could do. It's about who's gonna put that faith that you see in yourself in you, and that's gonna give you the opportunity for the coaches to call you. For me, in the process, I had a great process, but some people doesn't don't have the same process, don't have the same luck. Of course, not everybody's gonna get the same amount of level but at the end of the day whatever opportunity you get you just got to take it and you got to go ahead and do the most and fulfill your dreams this is a lot of kids dreams playing d1 basketball but nobody even thought about getting in the portal when you was younger and none of that so being in the portal i'll just say it's it's not as sweet it's like you got to answer phone calls you got to you got to start the recruiting process all over again you got to try to find somewhere that you're going to fit in you're going to feel comfortable you're somewhere that wants you, not need you. Like it's, it's just a lot. It's, it's a whole another process. But yeah. for me, I had a, I had a good, successful transfer portal, um, experience. So yeah, can't complain. No, that's great and great insight too. Like I said, I you know I like to ask players now because it is interesting. Like even those phone calls, does the level of you know who's calling? I, I assume it's not always head coaches. May not always be assistant coaches. Yeah, right? yeah. And is it kind of a you know, just feeling out here, you know, we're interested and then it's kind of on you to call back. So pretty much it's like, depends on who, who calls. Sometimes you get a head coach that calls and if it, if the head coach calls you, it shows you how much they want you. You feel me? Like it shows, it's a whole another step 
rather than an assistant call. If assistant calls, yeah, they want you, but like it's still there's another chain of command that they got to go through. And the second you hear the head coach on the phone, it's just like, yo, like they want is either they want you or they don't want you. And if he's sitting taking time out there on the phone with you, is is most likely ninety percent of the time that they want you. You just gotta they just judge to see the character that you are. That's when they get on the phone call with you, it's it's most likely that they want you there. But at the end of the day, it's a business. They got to know who they're recruiting. They got to know who's going to be putting on the jersey, who's going to be representing their university, who's going to be representing their family. So at the end of the day, like, they call you and try to figure out the person that you really are. Like, they they know more than you think they know. So, like, they, you might not think they know something. Oh, they already know it. Like, from four or five years ago, they knew you when you were playing in the little leagues. Like, they do a lot of research before they make that phone call. They make sure everything is the right fit. Yeah. No, I, I appreciate that insight um, for sure. And, and you know, good for you. You know, you're done with that process. And like I said, you know, yeah, yeah. I appreciate the time. I'm looking forward to, you know, watching you play. You know, like I said, being part of something special at Fordham. 